Come on, wake him up. I've been playing since I've been in third grade. Uh, this is my second year for the Saw Dogs. Having a nice mix of music at a baseball game is, is important. Keeping the nice traditional values and, and yet offering things for Next up all age Saul groups. Number 17, designated hitter, Steve <laughs> Alexander. You never get to play a complete song. You get used to that. That's the first thing Lambert told me. You never get to do anything complete. You just got to remember what words and lines to a song and what they say. And that's how I talk is through the organ. The Lambert Benish mentioned is Lambert Bartok, the veteran organist at Rosenblatt Stadium. They are among the few remaining live organ players at baseball stadiums across the country. Baseball is a sport full of traditions, and the live organist has been one of them since the 40s. The National Baseball Hall of Fame credits this tradition's origin to 1941, when the Chicago Cubs brought one to Wrigley Field. The tradition has been on the decline, but Benish sees a brighter future. And it's probably a tradition that slowly died for a while, for, for, for let's say a few years, and now we're seeing the trend starting to come back having a live musician in the ball fields. He's also not worried about sharing the stage with a little pre-recorded music. It gives me a breather, actually. Um, you know, it gives me time to think of new stuff that I want to do for the night. So really, having them doing some stuff and me doing some stuff, we couldn't just share the whole thing. And it just works out really great. It's a nice mix.